Canamid Handicap Golfer used the brand new for 2019 Ping Blueprint irons. Let's find out. Mark, what are you what are you doing? These are incredible. Wow. And let's do it now. And after my putting lesson, that's that up and down in, in two. <laughs> So Mark, first impressions generally count for a lot. Speechless. The very, very. I, I, <laughs> I, I am just speechless. I define them as sexy. Um, yeah, yeah, sexy. Uh, just they just look fan incredible. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. On this channel, I bring you guys daily golf related content, along with Mark, the mid handicap tester. And our aim is to raise your game, lower your handicap, and just get you enjoying golf that tiny bit more. This is how today's video is going to go. Mark has the brand new Ping Blueprint irons, and he also has his very own, what are the I2, I20s? I and he also has his very own I20 irons, so also Ping irons. And we're just going to basically play some shots and see how he gets on. First up, the four iron. <laughs> Not the greatest of hits. They're pretty good though. Straight well, down well, the middle of the well, fairway. Well, yeah. Be interesting to see if you strike that the same as this. Yeah. How that goes. Initial thoughts looking down at that as opposed to the I-20. Send for help. Um. I'm quite pleased at the uh, the grooves, the colour, the colour on the face of the club. Actually, it allows you to see something down there because if it wasn't for that, there wouldn't be a head on it. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness! It's a baptism of fire. That wasn't bad at all, was it? First shots of the day, we've gone I-24 iron, we've gone blueprint 4 iron. Yeah. There's going to be a bit of a difference, I think, down there. But initially, how did that feel? It felt fantastic. Like butter, aren't they? Yes, absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Loved it. I, I, that was a little heavy yeah. off the tee. A um, little bit of a low flight, but it went straight. Now, I'm not going to lie. When we decided to do this video last night, I thought I might ease you in with the pitching wedge than the seven. I carried it on my video, yes, pitching yeah. wedge seven iron. We've gone straight in with the four iron, off the first it. tee. Yeah. Should we go and find out where they are? Yeah, let's. Let's. So Mark, just while we're walking down here initially, talk us through the loft difference that's on your I-20s, which are a little bit dated, aren't they? A little bit old, yeah, yeah, as they're... opposed to the brand new blueprint irons okay. that we've got now. Well, with regards to the four iron, uh, my, I'm, I've got a 23 degree loft yep. on my four. I think it's a 23 and a half. Yeah, so only half, so, half a degree so difference. So not very much on the four irons. And that's probably showing the generational gap more than anything. Yes. Because the yeah, set of yeah. I-500s now would be a lot stronger. A lot stronger. A lot stronger, lot stronger than that. Seven iron has a difference, doesn't it? I think uh, my seven iron is a 32 degree. Yeah, and this one... 34. Yes, blueprint's 34 degrees. Yeah, so two degrees Couple difference. Couple of degrees. Then we get to the iron. pitching wedge. And the wedge comes back to very similar. I've got 46 degree. On my pitching wedge. So the pitching wedges are the same? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Right, let's find out where they are. So first up, Mark's absolutely nailed the middle of the fairway with his own four iron. Decent I'm very shot, impressed yeah. with that. Would you normally hit four iron off this first tee? No, not at all. <laughs> I usually take the driver off the first tee because it's it's dry, it is a nice driving hole. It is a driver hole, but, but you can't really argue with that Mark, can you? No, no I'd have been happy with that as my drive. What about the blueprint? Have we spotted that one? Obviously, dispersion not as good. We've missed the fairway. Oh yeah, here, just on the edge there. So funnily enough, that's exactly in line with it. Same same distance off the tee, and this didn't get roll run. Yeah. That one had quite a lot of run on it when it landed, but this has stopped fairly fairly rapidly. Okay. So first impressions, all right? Great. 
Yeah. 185. 185 downwind. 185 to the pin, downwind, slightly downhill. Can we go with the 7 iron? 7 iron. Yeah? yeah. Okay. That's done really well. Circuitous route in. Right still now. going, still going. I'll tell you what, this could go in this. That I, was is a little bit I have to admit, I was a little bit nervous with the shot because the wind got up. And I'm thinking there, in all fairness, the iron's helped you, hasn't it? The stri yes. strike yes, wasn't it fantastic, no, I think the iron's wasn't. definitely helped you. So it's going to be interesting to see now with the blueprint. Yeah. So for, so yeah. for someone who's a ping fan, Mark, is it nice to see a, a club that looks that good now? Definitely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, totally. Really, really. For me, like this is it. the first properly good looking iron they've made. The R500 right. was good, yeah. just a little bit big, but. It, it's a bit big, but and, and it's very, very strong, mm -hmm. um, which is a thing that I wasn't, I'm not all that keen on. But. Well, it went exactly where I hit it. Yeah. I didn't hit it brilliantly, cleanly, but it still flew, still flew nicely. And that's almost a bit of a shame, actually, because the strike was there, wasn't it? The yeah. strike was, the strike strike was, was nice. pretty yes. good. If it had been lower down, that would have, oh, yeah, it would easily be onto the green but, with that shot. But, let's take a look where they are. So guys, if you do want to see a full review of these irons, it is on my channel now. <sighs> they look good, Mark, don't they? They look very good. They yeah. look so good. They do. Let's just get a quick... No one wants to see our faces, do they want to see these? Oh. Beautiful. So walking up to the green here and we have the i20. Sitting pretty to be fair. Pan across. And there's the blueprint just in the right hand side in the rough. What's your take on it? There is absolutely no difference on how far I hit the two balls. Yeah? It was purely the line that was the difference. So pilot error? Pilot error, yes. I hit that, I hit the blueprint slightly right and it stayed right in the rough. So what you're saying is there's hope for people. <laughs> absolutely, yes. I mean, <laughs> I would have been quite, I'm quite happy to take these clubs out on, on Saturday in the medal. Even the four iron? Even the four iron, Ooh. yes. Comment below, should Mark take them out in the medal? <laughs> now this is where things change round. We've gone Definitely. 180 yards downhill downwind. What about 180 yards uphill into the wind? Sound fair? Well, the first one was a seven iron. The second one's definitely a four iron. Definitely the four iron. Let's do it. It's going to be a challenge. Should we go blueprint first this time? All right, blueprint first, yeah. Switch up a little so bit. So I don't get a sight up. Yeah. Just to explain to people how different these look, Mark. So just hold them. I've always, I've always found my i20 as quite a, quite a good slim club, but but look at that. Oh, that I mean, that it's, there's Wayne nothing there. Radcliffe, isn't it? I mean, I know we did the butter sketch earlier in the year, but, but that is definitely a knife <laughs> <laughs> in comparison to that. Look it well. And that, my friends, that is a four iron that's going in my bag. That's pitched on the green yeah. with the blueprint four iron. I am amazed, flabbergasted. Borderline in love with a club, I think. It, looking at it, you there. It flew off the off the face. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a, center, a dead centre hit either. The heel end, yeah. Very but good. Flew nicely. So let's see. Interestingly, now, because say if you put the same strike on your i20, yeah, potentially could it go too far? Now the interesting part there, that that climb. The first one, smooth, straight off the face, flew straight, kept fairly low. Just take a look at this shot tracer. In fact, I'll put it there because there's more room there. Oh. Kept fairly low, landed on the green, which is quite unusual on this hole for me. Yeah. Actually landing on I the green. I must admit, I, when, I, when I said we were going to play this shot, I was definitely thinking land short, run up. I didn't yeah. think you'd be pitching yeah. it on there. Um, so, loved it. The, the fact that it didn't climb very high. Yeah into this wind was brilliant absolutely brilliant what about your own this one of course did start to climb yeah. in the wind and tailed right which okay. it which it often does i can't believe the way this is going 
So, so it went right, it hasn't gone as far, well, reasonably sure it hasn't gone anywhere near us. It's certainly not on the green. Yeah, right, let's go have a look where they are. You see, see four irons and seven irons are all good and well, Mark. What about the scoring clubs? How well, good does the pitch? I'm the four iron at the moment, I don't need a scoring club. <laughs> However, how good, how good does the pitching wedge look? How does the pitch? Well, the pitching wedge, um, much like got lots of clubs down here, it's obviously bigger than the four iron. But only just. I mean, it's tiny in comparison to my wedge. Um, yeah. It looks nice. Real nice finish. So you got the Hydropil 2.0 finish yeah, on there. Yeah, which that finish. That finish looks, looks same as lovely. the i2 10 and i5. I mean, yes. Apologies for my wedge being a bit dirty. Unbelievable, Mark. I haven't, I haven't washed it. So, Mark, 110 uphill into the wind, pitching wedge. What are we going first? Blueprint. Blueprint first. Put a bit more into that one. That's, that's stalled as well. Now you see, this to me is probably as interesting, if not more interesting, than the four irons because a lot of people will be thinking, can I game these in a split set? Not everyone's going to go for the full range, are they? Four iron through to wedge, even maybe a three iron potentially. Mm. So what did you think, Mark? Pitching wedge. I, I definitely played it quite nicely. I. I was a little bit nervous about playing it though, I have to say. Yeah, okay. Which is perhaps, I didn't put as much swing on it as I did with the i20. Yeah, you see, and, and as we look at these Which now. The differences that we'll see when we get up there. Yeah, I mean, the, the blueprint, although it was an okay struck shot, yeah. it's 20 yards short. It is. Your iron, you're still putting. Yes. And these are here, so we've got the blueprint just there, and marks right on that front edge. And in fairness, that came back as well, didn't it? It did come back, yes. And as we get further up here, the blueprint four iron from earlier, right up at the back of the green. That was a great shot, that, Mark. I'm really, really, really pleased with that. Where's the I-20? Oh, it's there, look. We wouldn't fancy that one. Oh, just on the edge. Ooh. Four iron off the tee. Pretty good, pretty impressive. Yes. Four like iron that. off a fairway, very impressive. Pitching wedge from 110 into the wind. Was okay for the was first okay. go with the pitching wedge. Was okay. Now, what about the par three? You've got to be able to do it on par threes. You have, yes. And that's all about keeping the line, being confident with your shot, following through appropriately. <laughs> all those things that us mid-handicappers don't really do very often. No. 140 yards into the wind, uphill, bunkers everywhere. Blueprint or I-20? Left or right? Right, because you're always right. Your right, my left? No, right, my right. Blueprint, Blueprint. first. Hold your line, hold your line. Ah. So, first one, Blueprint, again struck well. Struck well. It went on the line I struck it on. Yeah. So, you know, the club wasn't to blame at all. It was just, I pushed it slightly right. Yeah. So it's just now plugged in that bunker. Yeah. And you've got to use that to get out of it. <laughs> Fair enough. Sevi can do it. Yeah. He started practicing a lawful lot younger than me though. <laughs> right, I-20. Now that went an awful lot further, didn't it? This is what I'm thinking. So a really interesting one there, two identical golf swings, yeah? Yes. Absolutely yeah. identical. The I-20 has gone a lot further, The I-20 went it? an awful lot further, yeah. The I-20 is probably pin high. I think it's just avoided the bunker, has it, as well? No, just fell, it got in the fell in the bunker. Okay, yeah. let's get up there, let's see where they are. I think this is potentially where you might start to see the differences. So the honeymoon period is over, or becoming yeah. over. Yeah. Let's go and see where they are. Mm. So just go up here now, neither on the green and neither actually on grass. We've got, this is a big difference though. Blueprint iron there. In relation to the flag. An I-20 iron. All the way up here, it would have probably been long actually. As you can see. So guys, you might wonder why we're doing this outside, why we're not doing it in the studio. I mean, the first point is that it's an absolutely beautiful day and we've both had a chance to get the shorts on so there's always that but then also i think it's really important to get out here on the golf course test them where it matters yeah we could have quite easily done this in the studio mark could have showed that the clubs probably go 
five to ten percent less distance and are probably a little bit less forgiving but we all know that we all know that's going to be the case for me it's how do you cope with it under the gun out here under pressure when the camera's yeah. running and the people are watching on the course slopes wind everything everything's there so we're going to hit one more shot guys and we're going to finish off with a nice hundred yard pitch into a bit of a green where you could get aggressive and let's see if the blade style of the blueprint really helps you get control of that ball as opposed to the forgiving element of the i20 so i've got the i20 first oh the distance was perfect Yeah, just just pulled across that leg. That's a great strike. Stop him, Mark. Oh. And after my putting lesson, that's that up and down in in two. <laughs> I felt so much more in control of that shot with this club yeah? than I did with mine. Could you see yourself using the short rounds in them or? Yes. Oh, definitely. Does it, does it kind of scare you as much as people like myself would, would imagine or? No, no, absolutely not. I think the, the colouring, the oyster, do you call it oyster something rather? Uh, On the face? The hydropearl. Hydropearl. I've oh, touched with oyster. Oyster. Hydropearl. Yeah, I can see that face. Yeah. So no, it's, it's fine. I suppose this is as good a time as any to summarise and I'm not going to lie, this video has gone completely the opposite way as to which I thought it would go. I don't know how you thought it would go but there's a lot to be said for when an iron looks good. When an iron looks as good as these look yeah. I found I upped my game for them in my review, definitely. I, want, yeah. I not, just wanted to, to hit yeah, the ball. Yeah, the, and I wouldn't say great. purposely because I never. I always try and give things as fair a review as I can so I always try and hit things as well as I can, obviously. But yesterday just seemed to, because I, I wanted to do them justice, I think. Yeah. So I put myself under more pressure, but I find when I put myself under pressure, I generally perform, apart from at the YouTube golf day, but that's a different story <laughs> altogether. <laughs> Shall we show them where this is, Mark? Oh, yes, please. Wow. And then your other one nearly took out that car, so that's okay, that's there. <laughs> <laughs> Can a mid-handicap golfer use the ping blueprint irons? What do you think, Mark? Mark's just finishing off his birdie putt with the blueprint four iron. Nah. So they can't putt with them, but there's a lot to be said for trying things like this. Mark, I don't know how you feel. If we could summarise these in three words, what would it be? I'll put him on the spot there because he didn't know we were doing this. I want them. <laughs> and I think that's as good a place as any to finish. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave a thumbs up and comment below. Will you be trying the Ping Blueprint irons? I would. See you tomorrow.